let me show you how I did it. I opened geometry module of GeoGebra Classic software. Link to install geometry app is given in the description section of this video. I always set my job before actually doing it. In this case, I did some background settings. Maximize the window of the app. Display all the geometrical tools. Set the sorting order of objects to object type. And now I am ready to do my construction. Using algebra screen, I created point A and point B. For point B, actually any number on X axis can be used. Next, I zoomed in or out to bring both the points in view. Then I went ahead and changed the size and color of points. Now using circle tool and with point A as center and B as radius, I created a circle. Obviously, radius of this circle is 25 units. I change the color of this circle to red, same as point A and B. Then I moved the circle into a good convenient position on the screen. Now using slider tool, I created a slider on the geometry screen. I selected angle with a range of 1 degree to 360 degree and incremental factor of one degree. The name of this slider is alpha. Now remember this letter alpha please. I changed the width by going into settings screen of alpha slider and set it to 360 pixel wide. Then I changed the color of the slider to red. Same as other objects created before. Now I decided to take small steps to complete my final objective. My first step was to rotate point B by some angle. For this, I used rotate command. I gave three parameters. Point B, angle in degrees, axis point A. This created B prime, another point on the circle. On the algebra screen, B prime is at an angle of 45 degree from segment AB. But let us confirm this by actually measuring the angle. For this, I will use angle measurement command. While using angle measurement command, I supplied three pieces of data. Point B, point A, point B prime exactly in the same sequence. And once I press enter, then on the geometry screen, angle is displayed. But what is this? It shows the value 58.3 degree. But in algebra screen, it says 45 degree. Why this difference? Well, there is a reason and certainly this seems to be some kind of bug. I will explain solution to this in another video as this is not the objective of this video. For the time being, I kept things as it is. Now I again went back to algebra screen and went straight to definition of B prime. In there, I substituted the angle 45 degree with alpha. Now what is alpha? It is the name of the slider which I created before. Now I press enter and see the magic. Everything is now 45 degree and more importantly, Point B is now changing as per the slider value. I slide and point B prime moves accordingly. This is magical. I like it. So now what is my next step? I need to create series of point B prime, each separated from the next one through angle alpha. So basically I need to create a sequence of points. And this I can do by using sequence command. This is exactly what I did next. Now getting back to algebra screen, I started typing sequence command. I choose a form of sequence command which needs five pieces of data. First is the data which tells a sequence command what it needs to create sequence of. This of course is the rotate command itself. 
for rotate command again i supplied three pieces of data point b prime angle alpha and axis point a this completes rotate command and also first parameter of sequence command second piece of data is alphabet k the value of this k will be used in the rotate command instead of k you can choose any other alphabet it does not matter third piece of data is the start value of k which is 0 fourth piece of data is the end value of k which is 360 degree or 2 pi radians fifth value of k is the amount of jump here i need to put the amount through which k will jump each time while traveling from start to end for the time being i choose here the value alpha this means if value of alpha is, is equal to 45 degree then k will jump 45 degree every time from 0 to 360 degree like 0 45 90 135 180 and so on and if value of a or value of alpha is 30 degree then k will jump 30 degree every time from 0 to 360 degree or 2 pi radians that is 0 30 60 90 120 and so on after pressing enter this is what i got this was unexpected i got a bit confused i was wondering whether the command has worked at all or did i or did i made a mistake a bit of troubleshooting told me that the sequence command has done its magic but somehow all the points generated are in the same position immediately i started checking my sequence command there was a problem you see i supplied k to the sequence command asking it to use its value from 0 to 360 jumping 45 every time but the real job of jumping is done by rotate command and this rotate command does not know anything about k the reason is simple i did not give this value of k to rotate command immediately i replaced alpha in rotate command with k and pressed enter woohoo it's magic points get created my arcs of equal sizes alpha degree apart have been created and now the real magic is as i slide the value of alpha from 1 degree to 360 degree arcs are getting created accordingly now let me change this final data of sequence command instead of alpha i will change it to 2 pi upon alpha now let's see what actually is happening well sequence command is generating points arcs are getting created as i move the slider but is it doing the right thing for example if alpha is 180 degree then expression 2 pi upon alpha is equal to 2 so there should be 180 arcs each making an angle of 2 degree but look here there seems to be a problem so something is definitely not right I know sequence command is doing the right thing. Problem seems to be in the data that I have supplied. After much tinkering, I realized my mistake. I will explain this in my next video. Right now, I need to supply right data to generate correct number of arcs. And this is what I am going to do now. Firstly, I created another slider. This slider is of number type minimum value of 1 and maximum value of let's say 72 you can actually choose any positive number I set the increment value to 1 then I made some changes in the looks of the slider the name of this slider is A this is the value now I used in the last parameter of sequence command in the sequence command I replaced alpha with A in the last parameter and then I pressed enter. Now see the difference. As I change the slider A, number of arcs generated are also getting updated. If A is equal to 1, number of arc is equal to 1. If A is equal to 2, number of arc is equal to 2. And if A is equal to 3, number of arc is equal to 3 and so on.
Now I did some changes. Firstly, I do not need point B anymore. So I make it invisible. Next, I really need to know the angle made by each arc with the center of the circle. For this, I only need to access the end point of first arc and see what angle is made by them at the circle. A sequence command generates a list of whatever it is sequencing. In my case, it is a sequence of points. I can use element command which needs two pieces of data. Name of the sequence and position or index of the needed point in the sequence. In my case, I need to use element command two times to get access to point one and two of the sequence. This then I used in angle measurement command to get the angle made by these two points with the center of the circle. I just changed the style of this angle to match with the other objects constructed earlier. Now let's see what I actually got. Let me slide A to a different value starting from 1. When A is equal to 1, I get angle of 360 degree, which is right and only one arc, that is the full circle. When A is equal to 3, I get 3 arc, each arc making 120 degree. When A is equal to 4, I get 4 arc, each arc making 90 degree. And so on. I hope you all liked what I am doing with GeoGebra. It is an excellent and interesting app to learn Max. I will be making more such videos. Please subscribe, share and enjoy my videos.